the sun has arrived. <sighs> what we've got going on now is a detox facial mask. A local favorite here in Bakersfield, California. I don't know why I said it like that, but it's fine. Is Soapterra. And this detox facial mask has some awesome ingredients, which include, you ready? Benonite clay, activated charcoal, Australian black clay, willow bark, and amla berry powder. What? I don't know what any of these things are. And my chair is making a weird noise. But when I don't know what something is, I use the good old Google. So some of the things that I found, um, the amla powder is actually a very pure form of vitamin C. Willow bark is known for its inflammation properties. The active charcoal and the other two clays are actually detox. So those are gonna be your main things. When we're making the face mask, I'm gonna be using water and Bragg's apple cider vinegar, okay? If you're just starting out, be very careful because I made a mistake once and I just went in hot and I used the face mask and put a ton of apple cider vinegar and my face was bright red. And I called Soterra and they were like, well, you kind of have to ease into it. And I said, I just, I just went for it. So don't do that. What I would suggest is use about a capful of said apple cider vinegar and okay and then add a little bit of water to dilute it okay like i said you don't want to burn your face off not that this mask does that uh, but if you have sensitive skin it's really a good idea to um ease into it you know it's a little too liquidy let me show you what i got going on here okay it's a little too liquidy so we're gonna go ahead and take some more of this mask and we're gonna mix it up here we're gonna mix it up like so mix it mix mm, still mm -mm. we gotta add a little bit more it's kind of really your desired i like to be a little bit, uh, I don't want to say thick, but I like to feel like I'm putting clay on my face, you know? So, oh yeah, I could tell. This feels right. Ew, you hear that? Sounds like something weird. Like somebody's smacking their food. Ugh. Once you have the desired texture, you can see a lot of the red inflammation on my face. Um, this chair though, can you guys hear that noise? <laughs> I'm just gonna not, I'm just, I'm just, but no, this is even, you know what, you're just gonna have to bear with the fart noise if that's what it is. Once you get your desired texture, I kind of want to show you a little bit, kind of, a bit thicker. Oh, duh, girl got some curly cues coming on over here, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my hair back, but... With this face mask, I've been using it for over a year now. And I do it once or twice a week, depending on how like congested my skin is. So pretty much use this very inexpensive brush here. And I kind of just go over, make sure you don't get it on your lips. That's really big. You can see I got some breakouts going on. Um, unfortunately, when you're a girl, you got some added hormones to deal with. I guess when I did my research, my friend Allie's an esthetician also. She told me that a lot of that is hormonal, which is annoying because I can't really control my hormones at this point. So I make sure that I get up to the hairline. Okay. Go through the nose. Like I said, be very careful not to get it on your lips, okay? You don't want to dry yourself out. Go through. It feels really good. It's very smooth. I like the way that the cold kind of feels on my skin. Ha 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 ha. Um, 
sometimes I get a little breakout on my neck too and I just, I really do like to go a little bit further down. Get under the jawline, relax in here. Oh, oh, almost got some in my eye. I'm good, don't worry. Don't worry, I'm gonna make it, guys. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. I just wrote that song right on the spot. Every little thing, it's gonna be. I did not write that. Baby, don't worry about a thing. Okay, so you get the drift. favorite things about this mask start to see it lighten up that means it's drying I can't wait to show you <laughs> what happens when I'm back naturally there's a little bit of redness especially um, in this area but it's normal so pretty much you it pulls all of the toxins and impurities out which cause redness my pores are noticeably smaller and to be honest feels a little bit amazing amazing uh, mm, amazing right. one of the major 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 things about a detox is water Okay, listen, Susan, I don't want to hear about how you hate the taste of water or how water just has zero flip. Drink the water, okay? It's the only way. It helps to get your body moving, your digestion going. It helps to clear the skin. It's actually what brings your body life. This helps me, okay? This is 32 ounces. My goal for today is to at least drink minimum two, but my goal, because I want to be an overachiever today, is three. Drink the water, Susan. Okay? Our next move is to actually move our bodies. I seriously got kind of hot from that walk. It was chilly, but when you're moving and grooving, um, you get a little sweaty. For today's smoothie, the liquidy base is gonna be this from Trader Joe's. It's unsweetened almond, cashew, and macadamia nut. And then we've got banana. Pineapple, blueberries, spinach. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna do anything real cute right now. I'm just trying to make a smoothie. Um, I usually put the banana in, and then I really want a lot of greens today, so I'm kind of overloading with the spinach. Have like more than half, as you can see, is taken up by the good greens. Blueberries. Frozen pineapples. Actually, the blueberries are frozen too. You can also freeze the bananas. That's just a little trick I learned, um, but they're not frozen now because I just bought them. And then I like to just kind of eyeball it. You can measure it out if you're counting calories. This serving here is one cup, 30 calories. I mean, that's nothing. But I typically fill it up to about there. Maybe a little more, I lied. To about there. The actual blender. Now, with our ninja. <laughs> very good, very yummy. Great for the detox. When you get rid of something, you gotta fill it up. So I'm getting rid of the yuck and I'm putting in the good stuff, you know? Out with the old, in with the new. Ouch. There you have it. Four easy ways to detox, get rid of the junk. First thing, remember, drink all that water. Second, make sure you move your body, like Madagascar. Also, 
When you're getting rid of stuff, you want to fill it back in with good stuff, hence the smoothie. And then for the added bonus, that face mask life though. Comment below, hit the subscribe button, put that dinging bell so that you know when it's time to hang out. But honestly, most important, it's not just all about me here. I would love to get to know you. Tell me some of your favorite recipes. Tell me some of your go-to face masks, some of your trips for drinking water because it's not always easy. Maybe some of your favorite smoothie things. Recipes, that's what they're called, recipes. But I love you guys. See you later, little pumpernickels. I'll talk to you soon.